By first graphing the cubic function y equals x to the power of 3 minus 3x squared minus 10x, solve the inequality x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x is less than or equal to 0 for x. So if we have a look at this being equal to 0 to start with, that's the same as finding the x-intercepts of the graph. And we do that by letting y equal 0. So we want to solve 0 is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x. And when we solve a cubic, what we want to do is factorize it. So we have 0 is equal to, and x is a highest common factor, and what would be left over would be x squared minus 3x minus 10. And now we can fully factorize this so that we can use the null factor law. So this means that 0 is equal to x times, and we're looking for the factors of negative 10 that add up to give negative 3. So we can use x minus 5 and x plus 2 as those numbers. So the null factor law states that x could equal 0, x minus 5 could equal 0, or x plus 2 could equal 0. Adding 5 to both sides of this equation, we find that x is equal to 5, and subtracting 2 from both sides of this equation gives x is equal to negative 2. So this is a positive cubic graph, so it's going to look something like this. So this x-intercept here is at negative 2 comma 0, this x-intercept is at 0 comma 0, and this x-intercept is at 5 comma 0. So the parts of this graph that are less than or equal to 0 are the parts that are under the x-axis. So it's this part of the graph and this part of the graph. And we can represent that in interval notation as x is an element of negative infinity up until negative 2. And because it's less than or equal to, that point is included. So we have a square bracket. Then we union that with the interval between 0 included and 5 also included. So that there is the interval for which that cubic is less than or equal to 0.